Another QTF a silver medalist in Rio and a silver medalist in Doha in the 2015 World Championships. He did on both occasions lose to a Cuban, and that was Arlen Lopez. Won gold at the recent Asian Championships. Defending the title that he won in 2015, so he's had a lot of success recently. 2-0 in WSB so far this season. And he must win this bout quite simply, or Cuba will go through to the semi-finals. Well, La Cruz is a quite extraordinary fighter, a three-time world champion, gold medalist in Rio in 2016, knocked out in the quarterfinals in London in 2012, which was uh, a bit of a surprise, but Yamaguchi Falcao managed to do what no one else has really managed over the course of the last six or seven years, which is to get him to come forward over the top of that front foot and, and really engage. He's incredibly difficult to hit. He doesn't sting all that hard with his own shots, but he's the kind of fighter who could win a round without even landing a punch because he makes you miss and look bad. And again, enormously experienced in WSB. Cuarto combate de la noche, división 81 kilogramos de Force Ball Tonight, 81 kilogramos division. En la esquina de los Tigres de Uzbekistán, Tiger from Uzbekistan Corner, subcampeón olímpico de Río 2016, Olympic Silver Medalist, Rio 2016, Bektemir Melisukiev. En la esquina de los domadores de Cuba, Tamer from Cuba Corner, campeón olímpico Río 2016, tricampeón mundial, campeón panamericano, Olympic champion, three times world champion, Pan American champion, Julio César La Cruz. Well, he really is a man who has won it all. Has lost this season, though, to Albert Ramirez who actually beat him in the American Championships final in 2015 as well. So light heavyweight Julio La Cruz for Cuba, Vectomir Melikuziev with the blue gloves for the Uzbek Tigers. Luca Vadalonga of Italy, our referee. Well, it's always very enjoyable watching La Cruz. He has a lot of fans all around the world. general as he likes to call himself and Melikuziev in the southpaw stance there so I say he's moved up from middleweight to light heavy another six kilos which is the best part of a stone seems to have settled into the weight pretty well as I say he's another one of the nine gold medalists Uzbekistan had in the recent Asian Championships, he beat Eric Aljanov of Kazakhstan in the final. This is the toughest of tasks here, really, to get a victory over La Cruz. deal else he's the one holding center ring for the most part at the moment Melikuziev just working around the outside trying to get him behind that left hand there the Uzbek bit of a difference in height between the two good jab there from the cruise 
just moves those feet so well. Holds the hands low. And so much faith and trust in those reflexes and rightly so. And came back there from Elikuziev. I don't think it landed completely clean. Trying to let go with the left hand there, Melikuziev. Again, he was just slightly short. Jab here from the crews. Just trying to eat his way in there, Melikuzia. Just moving forward with that front foot and then just walked onto a right hand a bit. The crews, though, lost his balance a touch as he came forward there, which is not something you see very often. And he's doing all right in this opening round here, Melikuzia. The crews maybe just beginning to find a bit of rhythm, though, right in the final few seconds. Touchy gloves and a nod of the head between the two. much landed clean there from either one of these two fighters in the opening round and just look at the cruise there as he comes forward his feet just following his hands square on he gets it though with all three judges there wasn't too much in that opening round <laughs> that lead hand moving the cruise it's always moving so distracting for your opponent possibly and then he just looks to flick it up and try and score with it and the Kusev looks a little bit stiff at times wait mainly on that back foot often moves in on the cruise and himself and his opponent's shoulder as the Cruz just kind of came forward himself saw what was coming from Elikuziev and just shut it down right to the body there from the Cruz left hand on the inside there from the Cruz as well and then just swayed back he does at times seem to defy gravity almost as he just pulls back from punches with just a loss of balance there. Just pot shotting the cruise with the right to the body and then again he just makes Melikuziev look a little bit foolish. He does this to lots of fighters. Right hand from the cruise got through. It's a very frustrating experience sharing a ring with Julio de Cruz because you think he's in one position, you move in, you throw and then you realise he's somewhere else and He's just so difficult to catch. A pretty difficult job, I think, to hit him with a bucket of water. And Akuzio just trying to quicken up those feet. 
cutting down the ring, cutting off the ring against the Cruz is very hard. Generally, you can just end up following him around. almost coming together on the inside there as Malakuzov just overbalanced a bit as he came forward end of round two and this is slipping away from Uzbek Tigers I'm afraid going to come in tonight with really high hopes after that 3-2 lead that they established last week it was a terrific night for them it was a really good night of boxing all round it would have given them real hope that they could come here and, and get something done and maybe get what would have been a massive win. It's looking increasingly unlikely. And it goes from Cruz's way, so a 2-0 margin in rounds, a two-point margin on all three of those cards. But if, if this continues to go the way that it is at the minute and the Uzbek Tigers get eliminated, they do deserve a, a lot of credit because they came into this quarter-final pretty much straight off the back of those Asian Championships and as I said all of the fighters have did so well in that tournament have taken part in this quarter-final and their exploits in the Asian Championships will have taken something out of them inevitably but they brought it over the course of these two evenings against a team that most people would still say is the team to beat. They have been beaten this season against Colombia. It's a Colombia Heroic Hose. They've been superb on their debut season in WSB. And those two could well be meeting in the semi finals. Left hand from the Cruz on the move. Melikuchev is looking to try and be a bit more aggressive in this third round. He knows that he's got to try and do something, but often when fighters find themselves in this position, They make it actually a bit easier for the crews because they need to open up and take a few chances and he is so quick to exploit any openings that are given. there from Alakuzia as he tried to come forward that the head was down carried it in a little bit low but there's no real danger of the head clashing because the cruise was uh, was long gone by the time his opponent was stumbling forward left hand on the inside there again from the cruise and then he takes the trip down as well, just a slip. Final few seconds of round three and it's been similar to the opening two rounds. awful lot really that the Cuban coaching staff to staff need to say to the Cruz he knows his boxing so well 
And there's that short right hand on the inside. Good left hand there, though, from Melikuziev. And that's where he slipped, tripped. So the Cruz is almost out of sight here. Melikuziev is going to need, again, some big, big rounds here to try and turn this around. Salto, first round. Still got the super heavyweights to come after this, but unless Melikuziev can do the near impossible here, really, then it will be 6-3, and that will be Cuba through to the semi-finals. He's had his gloves up a bit more than I've seen him in the past here, the Cruz, actually, in this fight. Melkuzi have to try to come forward with the left hand to the body. Again, just didn't quite reach. Nice one, two there from the Cruz. Snappy work. Slightly messy this fourth round. And Cruz goes down again, but once again, it's just a tangle of legs. Cruz is landing that right hand over the top from the outside. Not a heavy puncher. And, you know, the Cruz, he doesn't really score too many stoppages. But he wins an awful lot of fights in WSB 50 points to 45 on all three cards. And that may well be the way this one is going. One more to go at light heavyweights. And Cuba just one round away from victory. He's just got to make sure he doesn't get knocked out in this fifth and final round of cruise, and he will be there. And it's not something I think he will have any great difficulty with. Gets around from Judge A, but it's 40 points to 36 with Judges B and C. Touch of gloves at the start of the fifth and final round. Julio Lacruz of Cuba in the white shorts. Lacruz of the Uzbek Tigers in the blue and white, wearing the blue gloves. Lacruz with the red gloves and Cuba on the brink here of qualifying for the semi-finals. The semi-final that we'll see them face either the Colombia or the Heroic O's who beat them. Mikata Henya in the group stages lost here in Havana. 
So it'll be either them or Italia Thunder. That match is just getting underway. So we will know in a few hours' time what the makeup of that semi final will be. Semi finals on the weekends, the Fridays and Saturdays, the 2nd and 3rd of June and the 9th and 10th of June. Change the WSB format this season in the lockout stages, seeing the 10 bouts being contested in both countries. So one team not having home advantage for all 10, but five in each country. Good change that, I think. standard this season has been tremendous again. The 12 teams have made a real hot house of very high quality boxing. And there's a lot to be decided going into the final matches of the group stages, which again is exactly what you want. You want it to be fiercely contested all the way through, and it certainly has been. There's that jab, it comes in from distance. He's tried here, Mela Kuziev, but he's just found this to be extremely difficult. As almost everybody who gets in the ring with the crews finds fighting him to be. And this is what he's up against. He stepped up to light heavyweight, and if he wants to land major titles, world titles or Olympic titles, then this is the man he's got to beat. He's the undisputed number one. The only thing that was missing for him was an Olympic gold medal, and he took care of that in Rio in the summit. Bruce looking to put on the finish here as the bell goes, and he knows that he's got the win. And Akusiev raises his gloves, but I don't think he can really think that he's won that fight. The reaction from the corner, though, makes you wonder whether they do think they could have got it. They haven't got it because we're pretty to the scores, of course. They're not. And the crews, at worst, has won this 49-46 on two cards and 48-47 on another, which will take Cuba to 6-3. And that will send them through to the semi-finals. It will be 4-0 on the night. And just the super heavyweights to come. Señoras y señores, el resultado del combate en división 81 kilogramos. Ladies and gentlemen, the score of the bow, JD1 kilogramos division. Pues uno, Josh number one. 48, 47, 48, 47. Pues dos, just number two. 50, 45, 50, 45. Pues tres, just number three. 49, 46, 49, 46. El vencedor por votación unánime. The winner, unanimous decision. De los tomadores de Cuba, Timers from Cuba. So the crew gets it with the score again, 54 to 45, so five rounds to nil, 49-46, which is 4-1, 48 to 47, which is 3-2. And it is indeed Hugo La Cruz, on the only place he one earlier on. And it's 4-0 on the night for the Cuban Amadores, which takes them to 6-3. That means that they go through to the semi-finals yet again. Still one bout to come though, the super heavyweights, Jose Laduets against Bakadir Jalilov, and that should be a really interesting one. Two big heavy hitters about to take.